is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. Employee number 427's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, of every month, of every year. And although others might have considered it soul winding, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All right, guys, welcome to the Stanley Parable. That needs to be changed slightly. Sorry about that. My uh, sensitivity needs to go up. I tried to demo out and I put it up in that, but obviously it didn't carry over. So yeah, this is the Stanley Parable. A very funny kind of game, um, mainly because of the, of the narration. Controls are simple. You've got your WASD. You've got your left click to do stuff. But Stanley simply couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What I if was the crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break me. In here I can be happy forever. I will be happy. Stanley waited. Hours passed. I like that clock. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had the ability to tell. But the one thing he knew for sure, I'm beyond stuck. any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. I don't know Eventually, my desk. someday, they would arrive. Soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. <laughs> okay, well that's the first time I've done that. <laughs> <laughs> I really didn't mean to do that to the door, but I did it. So yeah, you, there's lots and lots of different options of things you can do to <laughs> seriously piss off the uh, narrator there. But as I say, you've got your up, your up, down, left, right with the was the keys. You've got your left click to activate things and control to crouch. That's about it. Go yeah. sneaky like be a snake on the floor. All of his co-workers were gone. Oh. What could it mean? Dunno. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Nah. Couldn't have been. Ooh, computers. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Someone left this one on. And so I've only actually played the demo, and the demo is none of this level. I have I have watched one video, guys, just one, to see what it was like um, beyond the demo because the demo had nothing to do with this this actual gameplay. It's crazy. But I didn't see that far into it. Is there anything? In Stanley went around touching every little thing in the office, but it didn't make a single difference. Well, what if I no, want to touch everything? Did it advance the story in any way? No, I no, I don't care. You shush, look. Oh. I'll make a photocopy of my butt. How's that? Huh? There. Happy? God damn. Yeah. No. 
So you've pretty much got to go around clicking on everything to, to see all the different kind of options that you've got available, or potential options and all that sort of thing. How the hell did I get up here? <laughs> Awaiting input. Ooh. Can I do anything else to it? But you. Oh, all I'm doing is turning you off. Employee 425, are you in there? No? What about 426? Hello? 420? Stanley clicked on literally every single door in the office because he doesn't pick up well on cues from his environment. I'm oh, sorry guys, just give me one little second. I'm having some uh, audio issues here. Hopefully that's better. I couldn't really hear much in my left side of my headset. Four sixteen. No. Four fifteen. Ah. What's the point? You can give me all these doors. What if I can't go down them? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, no. he entered the door on his left. That one. <laughs> this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and uh -huh. Stanley knew it perfectly well. Yep. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Why not? Let's go admire the employee lounge. I, I, I won't lie, guys. I have seen the employee lounge on that one video. But it's still... Ah, yes. Truly a Ooh. room worth coffee. admiring. It coffee! It had been worth the detour after all. Just was for the coffee. Just moments here in this immaculate... Just give me coffee. Room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. Don't mention drinking if you're not going to give me the goddamn coffee. Ah, uh, how about this? Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yes, really, really worth it being here in the room. A room so utterly captivating that even though all your co-workers have mysteriously vanished, here you sit looking at these chairs and some paintings. Will you shut up and give me my goddamn coffee? Uh, fine, you win. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. I can't actually remember what I saw in the video on this bit. So, I'm going to go ahead. If he wants us to go down here. Stanley was so bad at following oh, directions, I do remember. it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. <laughs> I know what's going to happen here. I love this bit. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy. I don't really know what's up there. But I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about <gasps> nothing but you. What? Really? <laughs> I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? No. Nope. Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? What? Yeah. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. No. Let me prove that I'm on your side. How? Give me a chance. How? What's down here? This is something I have no idea. No, nothing. Okay. When I tell you, as soon as I know, well, as soon as I get to the end of what I watched, guys, so you'll know it's completely first time experiencing it. Danger everywhere. Two B one. Two B three. No. Warning: Do not stand on the other side of fence. It won't let me. Nah. You win this time, sign. 
this time always watching I've got my eye on you 2 3 4 no I want to go torment the sign some more fine You win this time, side. Next time you're mine. Now listen carefully, this is important. Okay. Stanley walked through the red door. How about this one? Mm. I'm colorblind. I'm not really <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. No. Stanley walked through the red door. <laughs> red, eh? I still don't think we're communicating properly. Uh, All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. <laughs> you want to know so badly what's out there? You want to yeah, find yeah, out yeah. what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. I won't. You see? Ooh. There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to what's be here there? in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed Not developer there. textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes, Was it yes. worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Hell yeah. Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? No. Nope. I did. None. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help <laughs> elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? Oh, yeah. Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. What do you mean nothing? I just told you. you. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design and you can give me some feedback. Oh, goody, goody, goody. There we go. A third option. Yay! This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell Bye. me about your experience with this new version. Okay. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. All right, then. Well, you see, problem is you didn't... Do a proper job, okay? You, you, you added another door in. Yes, that's fair enough. That's great. That's good. You're listening to the players. But here's the thing. It was a really shoddy door. It wasn't like, it was, you had two nice ones like this and you had this really rubbish looking wooden one. You had oh, unpainted walls and all that. So I'm going to give you a three because of your effort, but it goes down because of your impatience and it was a rush job. Oh, of course. A three. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. Maybe next time we can get you to form an actual opinion, you know? Hey. Any level of critical thinking or engagement with your surroundings? Does that sound good? Think Screw we can you. do that? Yes? Mm. <laughs> Wonderful. That wasn't the one that was Here, picked in the based paper. Based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And oh, to be perfectly he? candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Cool. Let's take a look. Ooh. Ah, I've seen this before, but I want to know if it's an actual um, thing or not. Ninety-eight point nine percent of all players are more attractive than Stanley. <laughs> How long does it take you to get to the correct door? Compete against others to improve your standing power book. <laughs> All right, so this can't be actual stati statistics then. Let's head back down here. Come on. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. <laughs> honest answer? Well, you get an A for effort, but it's not actual real statistics, so like it's not down one. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. A game within you a game. Taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Yes, yes, yes. Let me boot it up. Go then. Now this game, and there should be one more. I think I saw, and then that's it. In this game, oh. the baby crawls left okay, yeah, towards yeah, yeah, yeah. danger. Cool. You click the button to move him back to the right, and if he reaches the fire, you fail. All it's right. a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. The baby's eyes the follow you. World That's really creepy as hell. Us. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. So Stop looking at me! Four hours of play to make sure it's effective. Be four sure hours to keep doing notes this. on your experience. 
stay back. Okay, the baby's noise is more tolerable than the noise of that buzzer, sir. No. No. Four hours later. Nah, go on then. <laughs> you heartless bastard. Yep. Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Just to because spite you. The latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. I know one thing it's to improve over. the experience. Let Thank me jump. You for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Yeah! Let's ease the pain. I love this game. Let's see. What do we have here? At the end of this one game is when I yes. watch the play for like up to. Let's give it a shot. So everything after that is brand new to me. Minecraft! Well, so <laughs> is this any better? At yeah! Last, the one thing you've always desired. Everything comes back I to Minecraft. Absolutely nothing to do with. But is it enough? Wait. Tell me that, ah, Stan. Red flower over there. Would it ever be enough? Well, let me when mine. I this, I'm done making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill <laughs> a greater artistic <clears throat> purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Oh, cool. <laughs> no, I've seen the house. It's funny as hell. <laughs> ah, over here. This will go here. No, here. And then. <laughs> <laughs> see, what does it need? I, uh, yes, of course. Good. Just to finish it all. Funny, uh, every time yes. I watch it. <laughs> it's complete. I made this standing. Look at it. Gaze Ooh. upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. <laughs> ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. I don't want to. It looks dirty. I've never seen it being refused, so I want to see what happens if I refuse. Listen to that. It's even got the Minecraft sounds. That's cool. Oh, fine. All right. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? No. It could only be better if... Wait. That's what? it. We what? must rebuild it out of diamond. Diamond? Diamond everything. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. Cool. Shut your door. Can I have some torches, please? I think it's going to get dark. Ah. Okay, so if I drop down, oh my. I can't it get looks back like it's up. going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? <laughs> ah, missed. Got some coal. I've got no pick. How am I supposed to get diamond? Can't even get the coal. How about how about the mushrooms? Can I get the mushrooms? No. Oh no 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 no! This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for oh, something dear. more narrow and linear. Uh, something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. This is where I, I saw it up to. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Hit the mobs. <laughs> I, I saw it up until up to this loading screen here. So everything from now on, I've not experienced. What have we got? No way. <laughs> yes! Portal! I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. Portal! You, trapped in a glass <gasps> box, <laughs> way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game well, supposed idea. to be? I can't figure it out. Ooh, hey, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. Oh, my radio. Did I break the cup? I did. That's awesome. Give me a radio. No! Radio! Ah, you win. You win! You hear me? My poor radio. Oh! Portal. It's a puzzle. Critical ah. thinking stuff. Ah, up here. You are quite Yeah. Can I pick it up? Yeah. Nice. Genius. Thank you. <gasps> Let's see Stanley get ripped apart. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. No! I really don't care much to see you stumble through any more of these what? games. <gasps> oh, I didn't mean to actually fall. 